Hola, it me. Did y'all forget what I looked like? Cause I forget what I looked like with the makeup. It's been so long since I did a video and it's been so long since I've done full face of makeup. But today we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a little bit of a bat wing liner. Last year, I got a lot of people asking me to do like some kind of video to show how to do this because I mean, according to them, it was very symmetrical, but to me, it, it was all over the place. But now that I've had a full year of practice doing a bat wing liner, we're gonna do it today for a video. And I'm gonna show you guys how to achieve a, I get, I mean, for me, simple. It might not be so simple for you, but practice makes perfect. So let's practice together. Alrighty, follow along. Alrighty, now that we nice and prime, we're gonna dive into some shadows. I'm gonna be using the Raw Beauty Christie eyeshadow palette. It's real pretty. It's got some really beautiful colors on this side. And then if you flip it over to this side, it's got some real pretty, more neutral colors. Look, you can see yourselves. Now for this look, we're gonna start off like how we started before with your smoky liner with some a gel liner, just lining up your lash line, bringing it out, I like to be covered all along this, bringing it out. Now the Raw Beauty Christie palette does not have a black shadow, so I'm just using a black shadow from a palette I've already got. And now going into my uh, Raw Beauty palette, Raw Beauty Christie palette, I'm gonna go into the shade and my orange. I'm just gonna tap that on top of that black shadow. I am blending in the black a little bit towards the bottom of the crease, just like this. I'm buffing everything out so it looks nice and blended together. The thing with working about blacks is a lot of people are kind of intimidated. Even I still don't personally like to use too, too much black, but you just want to start off slow. Don't add too much at once. Make sure everything is very gradual. I'm cleaning my brushes as I go because I'm a fool and I did not clean my brushes before starting this video. When I first used this palette, I feel like I struggled a little bit with it because my dumbass didn't realize they were pressed pigments. So I was over here trying to layer them on top of each other. And in case you don't know, pressed pigments are basically loose pigments, but pressed. And they aren't gonna be like nor your normal eyeshadows where you can just like blend them and do this and buff it all out. You kind of have to press them onto a sticky base. They don't really press well on top of each other. Ooh, this came out a lot more wing liner-y like I wanted it to. The eyeshadow for this look is like preference. You don't have to do this eyeliner look with eyeshadow, but I thought I'm home, I'm doing nothing. Why not put some eyeshadow on it? When it comes to black eyeshadow too, I never really use it to buff or blend. I usually pack it on and then diffuse it with something else. I feel like you get you work with it easier than you do with like blending it like I did the, eyeshadow, the orange eyeshadow. Now, in case you want to know what I'm using for my brush cleaning, I'm using Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. This stuff is awesome if you have not used it. It's one of those quick dry cleansers where, or cleaners, whatever you want to call it, but you dip your brush into it, like barely, you don't even have to like stick your whole brush in there, just barely dip it in there and then wipe it on a, like on a towel or a napkin. Removes everything and it's nice and ready for you to use again. Now I'm gonna go in and cut my crease with some concealer. And the concealer I'm using is the NARS Radiant Creamy Natural Radiant. This one, the one that everybody uses. <laughs> I'm not a fan of it under the eyes, but for cutting my crease, I really like it. I'm gonna take a flat little like paint brush, concealer blur, bleh, brush, and I'm just gonna kind of go on top of the crease to create almost a more defined crease. If you guys notice, I've only used two colors so far, so this isn't super, super complicated, but it's effective. It gets the job done. Tells people, oh, that bitch knows how to do her makeup. Talk about how it's already October. I thought we were going to be done with it. In fact, when all this Corona stuff started, I was the first one to be like, remember Ebola? We gonna forget about this in the next like two weeks, I guarantee. Well, like seven months later and here we are still struggling. Okay, so I'm going to go in with tribute from the palette really pretty purple 
Now, a lot of brands don't get purples right. They either make them too like gray or too blue, not exactly purple. I love when a brand gets purple right because I use a lot of purples. Okay, seems like this is the right purple. It is, look how pretty, that's a nice purple. I'm a fan, that's a really nice purple. It doesn't really pick up on camera very well, but my eyeballs is picking it up and my eyeballs is feeling it. Oh, that's not blended. Now it is, kind of, sort of. Don't leave it. Like a little bit of like a white shadow the shade Loomis. I'm assuming she's a Harry Potter fan. And maybe this one's called Tribute, maybe Hunger Games too. I don't know much about her. This palette was gifted to me by an awesome friend who's a big fan of Christy. And he was like, I don't wear makeup, but you do. And I love Christy, so I'm gonna buy you this palette. And I feel so loved and special. I'm just packing that right on the bit that still has some concealer. And now I am a broke bitch, so I haven't bought this foundation, but I got a sample of it so I can try it out. It's the new NARS Soft Matte uh, Foundation, Complete Foundation. It's meant to be nice and at least from what I've seen from feeling it, it's very full coverage, very creamy, not a dry matte, but definitely not on the dewy side. Some people said they can turn it dewy, but I mean, uh, it's supposed to be a matte foundation. We'll see what it's gonna be like. I'm gonna use feel like Deville, Deville, I feel like Deville is the way to go. We're gonna go in with Deville. Oh, that's a really yellow. <laughs> it is very full coverage. Yeah, very full coverage. Very nice foundation, I'm a big fan. I might end up having to buy it. I'm gonna set all over. Oh, actually, we're not gonna set yet. Almost forgot. It's been so long since I did makeup on a full face, okay? I forget the steps. Now let's do our bat liner. The moment you've all waited for, the bat liner. Alrighty, I'm gonna start by lining my lash line. The liner lashes your lash line as you normally would, and then bring it out pretty much like a regular liner, but instead you're gonna, instead of making it come straight, you're gonna make it curve. But I want it to connect to this right here, so I'm gonna do a little bit of like a kind of curve from here. Just like that. So I did bring it out a little bit and then curved it a little more. And we're gonna do, I might actually bring in a little bit more just so it kind of blends in. And then bring that liner down and make like a little tiny swoop. Another swoop. And one more swoop. Like so. And now for the easy part, just fill that all in. I wasn't gonna mention what liner this is just because I'm not a fan of this person, but it's the Patrick Star liner. I don't like him. I know a lot of people right now are kind of like, not the biggest fans of his, but the eyeliner is really good, honestly. That's how you know I'm being unbiased because I'm not a fan of his, but I see the eyeliner, I like it. I'm actually gonna put a little more of that black shadow right in here because I see that there's like a weird little gap. You know what's funny? I did the work in making this look a little more like liner-like and it, it, didn't, it didn't matter. I just made myself struggle for nothing, but it's okay. We're here for the journey. And now for the other eye. Very easy, at least for me. And it'll be easy for y'all once you start practicing it too. Hmm. I'm digging it. 
not gonna lie it's not exactly what i was gonna go for but i'm liking the results all right i said before we're here for the journey more than anything at least that's what i keep telling myself <laughs> okay let's do some lash -ons and mascara oh i can share with you guys the latest discovery i've made from work Coronavirus. Coronavirus! Not again. Every time. Why though? Okay, now for the new thing that I was telling y'all that I got from work. I'm allergic to a lot of lash glues. They cause my lids to like kind of puff up and get really red. But I discovered, because they gave it to me at work, so I didn't technically discover it, they was giving me this eyeliner slash lash glue. So when it's wet it, and you put your lashes on it, it works just like a glue. When it dries down, it's an eyeliner. It's an eyeliner. I use it as a glue. I just swipe it onto my eyes. I even did like a wing liner with it before and it worked really well. You just put it on like you would an eyeliner. And while it's still wet, you don't need to let it get tacky like you do with other eyeliners. You put on your lashes. Like on their place correctly the way you want them to. And voila. I freaking love this stuff. I feel like my lashes have never felt more secure. I like an infomercial for this thing. I talk about it all the time. It's so good. I know the tricky part of putting on your lashes is getting them, is putting them on, not the glue part. I don't know. I feel like this is much easier than a regular glue. I feel like it's a lot. I swear, my lashes have never felt more secure than they do with this. Amazing. Every time I do my makeup for a video or just to take a picture of it, I always feel like now I need to go somewhere. I've just wasted all this makeup. And there you go. It's like it never happened. Now that I'm looking at this, I feel like I need some glitter. You can never go wrong with glitter. I'm just putting like glitter glue on the white bits of my eyeshadow. Mm. Try not to make a mess with this glitter. But as we know, it's impossible with glitter to not make a mess. Oh, it's so pretty. Just a tip with glitter. I do like to use the same brush that I'm using, the, that I've applied the glue with because it the glitter will stick better and you'll get less fallout on your cheeks. I still get a little bit, but it's definitely less messy. Big fan of the green glitter. Look how pretty. Close, because I don't want a glitter explosion. We'll do this one. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use a LA Girl lip liner. By the way, this lip liner is called Bear. <laughs> I didn't even say what color it is. And then for a lipstick, I'm using the NYX Lingerie Push-Up Lipsticks. They're matte, they're meant to be like plumping. I don't, they're minty, but I don't think it does much plumping. This lipstick is so pretty. My dog's over there choking. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely like, got like some mintiness to it. <laughs> I don't know. I think I feel this combo a lot more. And I've also got foundation in my hair. What's new? Well, that concludes this look. I am feeling it. I think this is a pretty good, simple kind of Halloween look. It's not anything too crazy. I feel you definitely need practice with an eyeliner look like this. To, especially to get them to look fairly symmetrical. You do need a lot of practice. Don't get frustrated if you try this at home and it doesn't come out the first time. When I first did it, it was a hot mess. It did not look like bat wings. <laughs> but with practice, it'll look great. Thank you for watching if you've made it this far. And to everyone that was asking me where I've been, I've been here, I've been living, struggling, trying to survive, live, you know, all that good. So hopefully for next time, I'll have some good stuff for you guys. Thanks for watching.